Chapter 14 Other Policy Measures 14.1 Disability Data Management 14.1.1 Data driven decision making is critical to ensuring that public funds spent by the government have desired outcomes. Dynamic database can provide information on real time basis. be it the extent of problem, level of outreach of government programs and schemes, inadequacy in representation of vulnerable classes at various levels, etc., which are crucial for taking informed decisions. Such decisions backed by reliable data will have acceptance and can lead to overall improvement in the society. 14.1.2 Article 31 of the UNCRPD mandates the state parties to collect appropriate information including disaggregated statistical and research data on persons with disabilities to enable them to formulate and implement policies. It also mandates the state parties to take measures for dissemination and accessibility of such data to PWDs. However, there should be sufficient safeguards for data protection to ensure confidentiality and respect for privacy of persons with disabilities. 14.1.3 The Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, aim at leaving no one behind. That is, creating a society inclusive of all vulnerable groups, including PWDs. SDG 2030 Agenda has indicators which require strong database to showcase the progress made in achieving the target of inclusion of PWDs. By promoting education, health, poverty alleviation, etc. Similarly, Incheon's strategy to make the right real for persons with disabilities in Asia and the Pacific prioritizes 10 goals for implementation of the UNCRPD. for which there are 27 targets and 62 indicators. Both SDGs and the Incheon strategy thus focus on the requirement of a reliable and comparable database for PWDs. This would not only help the country to measure the progress towards empowerment of PWDs, but can also enable us to compare with other countries in a scientific manner. Fourteen point one point four The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act two thousand sixteen, which is based on the principle of the UNCRPD and also the spirit of Incheon strategy is required to be implemented holistically. This would require effective data management with regard to PWDs to measure the level of progress of implementation of the said law. Fourteen point one point five. The policy envisages the following measures to promote data management. The government is already implementing 
unique disability ID card project to create a national database for PWDs. The database should be linked with all service delivery mechanisms through appropriate application programming interface integration in the near future. The user establishments of UDID database need to ensure privacy of PWDs while disseminating information. Only the last four digits of the UDID card should be displayed as is being done in the case of Aadhaar. All educational institutions starting from preparatory school need to maintain disability disaggregated data and must capture the UDID number of the enrolled PWDs. This database should be developed at the national level with access to states, union territories and all academic institutions. Institutions offering distance learning, home-based learning should obtain the UDID number of enrolled PWDs and integrate it with their overall database. All government-run healthcare institutions should capture UDID number at the time of treatment counseling for maintaining disability disaggregated information. There should be a common software that could be followed by all central government run healthcare institutions in the entire country. All government run rehabilitation service provider institutions should capture UDID number. This will be helpful in monitoring the progress of individual PWDs. The socio-economic caste census database, which is used for implementation of poverty alleviation and development programs, should have disability disaggregated information and must capture UDID number. Union Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports needs to maintain separate database for the young sportsperson category wise. Department of Culture needs to maintain database of the young Jan who have contributed to fine arts, literature, performing arts, etc. both at the state and central level by capturing their UDID number. Department of Personnel and Training may develop a common database of employees with disabilities and their year-wise recruitment in all central government establishments. And should capture UDID number. Similar database should be developed at the state level with regard to their establishments. All schemes and programs meant for individual citizens should capture disability disaggregated data on disability. The online application format should have a column as to whether the applicant is a PWD and if so, category and UDID number needs to be mentioned. DEPWD should be given access to all the above databases.
14.2 research and development 14.2.1 disability is a complex issue and is an evolving science understanding disability with ever changing social and medical perspectives and evolving appropriate intervention strategies are important for rehabilitation and integration of pwds as such research and development in disability sector should be given adequate focus 14.2.2 section 28 of the rights of persons with disabilities act 2016 mandates the government to take measures to promote research and development through individuals institutions for enhancing habilitation and rehabilitation and empowerment of pwds Fourteen point two point three, Department of Science and Technology is implementing various research and development programs to promote scientific advancements in various sectors, including disability sector. The Department of Empowerment of PWDs is implementing a research and development scheme for promoting research and studies in disability sector. However, there is need to reorient the focus towards certain areas of research in disability sector which are as under. Finding incidence and prevalence of different disabilities region-wise based on scientific data, its probable causes and possible interventions for arresting, minimizing such disability. Developing low-cost indigenous aids and assistive devices for which Alimco should play a lead role. This is in line with the vision of the government to create Atmanirbhar Bharat in assistive technology. Developing mechanism tool for accessible education, sports, culture, health services. Framing a mechanism for accreditation of indigenous research products in the disability sector so that research findings get translated into real outcomes for enhancing the quality of life of PWDs. The Department of Science and Technology National Institutes of this department and Alimco should be an integral part of this accreditation system. All government research agencies including CSIR and its associates, IITs, NITs should follow this mechanism. Identifying premier research institutions that are capable of undertaking quality research in disability sector in consultation with Department of Science and Technology and promoting these institutions in respect of disability related research projects. Developing a joint mechanism for reviewing R&D activities in disability sector between Department of Science and Technology and DEPWD with representation from premier research institutions. Fourteen point three. Promoting Atmanirbhar Bharat in Disability Sector 14.3.1 Artificial Limbs Manufacturing Corporation is the only central PSU under DEPWD setup in the year 1971 to manufacture aids and assistive devices for Divyangjan at affordable cost. 
Currently, Alimco manufactures 26 categories of aids and assistive devices, with 19 of them already having full indigenous contents. Amongst imported items, the multi-sensory inclusive education kit and behind-the-ear digital hearing aid, smart cane and motorized wheelchair with joystick will soon be indigenized. Work is also progressing on development of DRDO designed cochlear implant which is currently being imported. This will also bring down the cost of equipment substantially thereby enabling the government to provide cochlear implant to greater number of the Vyang population. 14.3.2 For promoting Atmanirbha Bharat, the policy suggests that Efforts will be made to fully indigenize high-end prosthesis that is below knee and above knee with local procurement of input raw material. Modernization of Alimco with advanced contemporary equipment will not only increase its production capacity but also enable it to produce better quality aids and assistive devices thus obviating the need to import these. Alimco will enforce rigorous quality control on its vendors, market the products through chain of retailers and so on. For this purpose, Alimco will undertake upgradation of knowledge and skills of its workforce in order to align it with the primary aim of improved product design and development and manufacturing of new products wherever feasible. Alimco will apply best management practices to minimize cost for aids and assistive devices and improve its share in the market. It may develop a network of retailers and set up repairing units through these networks. Fourteen point four International Cooperation. Fourteen point four point one Article thirty two of the UNCRPD makes it obligatory for the member states to recognize the importance of promoting international cooperation for realization of objectives of the convention. India is not only a party of the UNCRPD but also an active participant at all disability inclusive international initiatives. These include INCHEON's strategy to make the right real for PWDs for the decade 2013-2022 in Asia and the Pacific region, Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, the Marrakesh Treaty to facilitate access to published works for persons who are blind, visually impaired or otherwise print disabled. 14.4.2 In addition, the government is engaged with other countries for sharing the best practices and knowledge for the betterment of PWDs in the country. These include bilateral agreements with the government of Australia, government of Afghanistan and government of Mauritius. The policy envisages that the government will endeavour to explore signing of MOUs with other countries for facilitating cooperation in research and access to scientific and technical knowledge for promoting accessible and assistive technology and other areas of mutual interest, participate in international cooperation activities for improving the quality of life of PWDs, tie up with SARC countries for regional cooperation and disability sector for promoting access to low-cost and affordable rehabilitative services, promote institution-to-institution -institution cooperation under the ambit of MOU signed with other countries. 14.5 Financing Empowerment of PWDs 14.5.1 Studies have indicated that large population of persons with disabilities are poor and added costs on account of disability management pushing them further into extreme poverty. 
Even an average income earning family finds it difficult to meet its medical, rehabilitative, transportation and other needs. If the Dibyang population does not get timely and adequate financial support at various levels, the objective of creating an inclusive and empowered society will remain a distant dream. 14.5.2 Resource mobilization in the field of disability is a major challenge to meet the emerging needs of the Vyangjan. so that they can contribute wholeheartedly to the progress of the nation. Fourteen point five point three. Given the mandate of the Rights to Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 and the Sustainable Development Goals 2030, there is a need for higher investment in the disability sector for realization of the rights of PWDs to lead an independent and dignified life and have equal access to health, education and other requirements. A productive Divyang can become equal partner in the socio-economic development of the nation. 14.5.4 Presently, the investment in disability sector is mostly focused on accessibility, distribution of aids and assistive devices, scholarships for promoting education, skill development, rehabilitation, capacity building, providing concessional finance to Divyang entrepreneurs and social security programs at the central and state government's bodies. However, the annual expenditure of central and state government for PWDs is not commensurate with their requirement. 14.5.5 While it is said that in respect of education, the public investment should reach 6% of GDP, There is no such target with regard to the disability sector. Reports indicate that budget allocation was only around 0.0039% of the GDP for persons with disabilities. 14.5.6 As per Census 2011, the population of persons with disabilities was 2.68 crore, which amounted to 2.21% of the total population. The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 has increased the number of types of disabilities from 7 to 21 and the number of persons with disabilities is expected to be much higher in the coming census 2021. More resources are needed for marginalized sections of the Vyang population located in urban slums, rural and hilly tribal areas. As per WHO report, there is a need to accelerate the development and implementation of action plan to address healthcare needs of persons with disabilities, including early identification and intervention and rehabilitation services. 14.5.7 Of late, Corporate Social Responsibility Fund has become a source of funding in disability sector. However, the CSR funding in disability sector is meagre as compared to other social sectors. 14.5.8 The policy envisages the following measures to mobilize financial resources required for empowering the Vyangjan and creating an inclusive society. State governments and local authorities need to earmark sufficient funds for disability sector every year keeping in view the fact that welfare of persons with disabilities is their primary responsibility. Efforts need to be made to sensitize corporate sector for facilitating higher flow of fund for empowerment of PWDs. All the states and union territories need to set up state fund and popularize the fund for receiving donation from the public for utilizing the same in schemes and programs meant for PWDs. Public-private partnership needs to be explored for providing services to the Divyangjan.